What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show today. This time, we got a three-game set in New York against the Mets. So let's see if we can take two out of three while we're here. Top of the first, runner on second, nobody out as I'm stepping up to the plate with a 303 batting average. All right, let's see what we got here. David Peterson on the mound. He's got a 96 mile an hour four seamer, 95 on the sinker, nothing else quick. First pitch from the lefty, four seamer right in there. How about that? If ever there was a pitch to swing at, that was one of them, and I did not even try to. Oh, one the count now as we see pitch number two outside the four seamer this time. Evens up the count at one and one. All right. Third pitch of the at bat from Peterson. Inside. Slider definitely came in a ways there. So that's an easy take, making it a two and one count. And now that we're ahead in the count, we might see something better to swing at. Nope, four-seamer below the knees there makes it a three-in-one count. Is he going to put me on the easy way for me? <laughs> I mean, I'll take it if it's a ball. Ah, uh, four-seamer over the outside corner in the top of the zone. Had to swing at it, fouled it off. It is now a full count here with nobody out in the runner on second. Payoff pitch from David Peterson. Ripped it into left center field. Holy cow, come on, get up, ball, get up, get up gonna one hop the wall we got a stand up double and the run scores I like it we're up one to nothing with nobody out here in the top of the first that's how we start off a series kids bottom half of the first Brandon Nimmo at the plate for the Mets he's hitting 268 on the season got an 0-1 count against Steven Matz there's one out and nobody on for him let's see what he sends my way here routine ground ball easy throw to first got him by a mile and that is two away here in the bottom of the first. Top of the second, still a 1-0 ball game. St. Louis on top. There's two outs and runners on first and second for me as I'm stepping up to the plate for the second time in this one. David Peterson still on the mound for the Mets. First pitch from him. Let's see what we get. Ah, swing and a miss. The four-seamer above the zone. Not the off speed that I thought it was going to be. I was hoping that was going to be a circle change or 12-6 curve. No dice there. 0-1 pitch is a four-seamer still above the zone over the inside corner this time. Taking that one evens up the count at 1-1. One one. Third pitch of the at-bat. Another slider way inside. Easy take. Makes it 2-1. and one. He's setting me up for a little bit of success here if he keeps throwing outside the zone. Oh, slider in the top of the zone. Popped it up into left field. That's going to be an easy play. Lots of hang time. That ends the second inning with no more runs scored. All right, top of the fourth. It's a two to nothing ball game. Runners on first and second again. Only one out this time around. We still got David Peterson on the mound for the Mets. Four seamer there just above the zone. Swinging and fouling it off. Makes it a strike one. Four career RBIs against the Mets, including the one earlier. Second pitch of the at bat from Peterson. Four-seamer in top of the zone again. That puts me in an 0-2 hole in a hurry. Pitch number three of the at-bat from Peterson here. Four-seamer inside corner could have gone either way. Wow. Somehow it's one and two instead of a uh, strikeout. Ah, but he got me with the circle change away. Dang it. There we have it there. I strike out. Making it a one for three day so far. Four to nothing to score here in the bottom of the fourth. Runner on first and nobody out for Francisco Lindor. He's 0 for 1 today after striking out earlier in the game. 2-1 count with Steven Matz on the mound for the Cardinal. Let's see what he does here. Easy ground ball right at me. Oh, I should have gone double play. What am I doing? Runner advanced to second. Didn't even think to do the double play. Wow. All right, still bottom of the fourth, Francisco Alvarez at the plate for the Mets. He's hitting 275 this season. He did draw a walk earlier in the game. That runner on second with two away, 1-1 one, one count, and a little dribbler up the middle. Relay to first again, and that's the end of the fourth inning. Four-run lead still intact for the Cardinals. Top of the fifth, two outs, runner on first. We now have a 6 to nothing lead. And we have a reliever on the mound for the Mets, Lee Nam. He's got a 92 mile an hour, two seamer, 
Sinker only hits 89. First pitch from him. Ripped it right back up the middle into right center field. I will hold up at first because I don't think I'm going to be able to pull a double out of that. But now we have runners on the corners with two away in the top of the fifth. Woohoo! Nine to three the score as we're coming back in the top of the seventh. Two outs and nobody on as I'm stepping up to the plate for the fifth time in this one. We've got Jose Quintana on the mound for the Mets now. He's got a 93 mile an hour four seamer, 94 on the sinker. Nothing else all too fast. First pitch from the lefty. Right down the middle, I send it right back up the middle. Another single into center field. I will take these base hits when I can get them, kids. That's working out just fine for me. 10-3 to three the score now on the top of the ninth. Runner on first, nobody out. I am 3-5 for five stepping into the batter's box here for the sixth time in this game. Jose Quintana still on the mound for the Mets, though. Ooh, curveball just off the inside corner. That was a tempting one to swing at. Thankfully, I didn't, though, so we have a 1-0 count. Might see something a little better to swing at here. Sure do. Out into right field goes that four-seamer on the outer third. Is that going to go? It is not. Warning track power in the top of the ninth. But it's caught. That's out number one. Still have the runner on first. 11-3 to the score now in the bottom of the ninth. The Jeff McNeil at the plate for the Mets. Got a runner on first, one away. Full count here. Can we double play it to end the ball game? Let's find out. Payoff pitch. You betcha sent right at me. We're going to throw to second. Shortstop relays to first, and that's a double play. 4-6-3 to end the game. Final score, 11-3. to Let's head on to the next one here, kids, and as it's loading in, I'd like to thank everybody for watching today. Don't be afraid to like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't done so already, as those things all help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Top of the first, one out, nobody on as I'm stepping up to the plate with a 3.08 batting average. Bowden Francis on the mound for the Mets here. Got a 93 mile an hour four seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from him, oh, four seamer. Just above the knees on the outer third of the plate, taken for a strike. So now we have an 0-1 count. Sends me something off speed and I get it over the, oh, I thought I was gonna get it over the shortstop's head. No dice though as he reaches up and catches the ball. Brandon Nimmo now at the plate in the bottom of the first. One out, nobody on for him. He's hitting 272 on the season. Got an 0-2 count here against Pablo Gonzalez. How'd that happen with him only throwing one pitch so far in the game? I will never know. Sends a little chopper up the middle. I'll get a glove on that. Relay to first in plenty of time. And that's the second out in the bottom of the first. Top of the third, two outs, nobody on. Still no score. 0 for one day for me at the plate so far after lining out in the first inning. First pitch from Francis is a four-seamer above the zone. Swung underneath it and late to boot. So that gives me an 0-1 count here. Next pitch, chopper to third with the slider just above the knees. He's going to get me by a good bit there to retire the side in the top of the third. All righty, here we are. Bottom of the fourth, two outs and two on for Haven Smith. He's 0 for 1 today after striking out in his first plate appearance. He's got a 2-2 count here against Pablo Gonzalez. Let's see what he's going to send my way in this one. Oh, yeah, easy chopper. Relay to first. That's going to retire the side. And we're heading on to the fifth inning with no score. Top of the sixth. Still no score. I'm standing up at the plate for the third time in this one. Bowden Francis still on the mound for the Mets. First pitch from him. Got me to swing at the slider off the plate away. Strike one. We have an 0-1 count here. Why did it show me I have one career hit home run against the Mets? Probably to get me to swing at that four-seamer well above the zone there to dig myself an 0-2 and hole. And I pop up a four-seamer in the top of the zone. First baseman's rushing in to get that one in foul ground. See you later. Pop out to three. All right. Bottom half of the inning, still no score. Pete Alonso stepping up to the plate for the Mets now. He's got a runner on second, nobody out. 2-2 two -two count here with Pablo Gonzalez still on the mound for the Cardinals. He's going to drop the bunt, and he's going to be able to beat that? Nope, almost. Called out a 1-3 put out on the bunt there. And then sacrifice moves the batter to third. 
Bottom of the seventh, though, we still have no score. Francisco Alvarez at the plate for the Mets. Now runner on first and one away. 0 for 2 today for Alvarez. He's got an 0-1 count against Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Easy chopper to me. We'll flip to second. Get the lead runner. Not going to get the second one, though. He beats it out on the back half to avoid the double play. So it's still a fielder's choice. No score still in the top of the eighth. Runner on first and one away as I'm stepping up to the plate for the fourth time here. Batting average has dipped to a 304. We have Lee Nam on the mound for the Mets now. 92 on the two-seamer, 89 on the sinker. Nothing else quick. Easy take there. First pitch, a two-seamer off the inside corner. So we have a 1-0 count. Let's see if we can advance this runner to third. Maybe even hit the double myself. Change up below the knees over the outer third of the plate. It's taken for a ball as well. We have a 2-0 count here. Not saying he's pitching around me, but it sure seems like it after two pitches. Third pitch, though. Runners in motion. That one's over the shortstop's head. That's going to get all the way to the wall in left center field. RBI double for me. Yeah, buddy. We are up one to nothing here in the top of the eighth. That's the way we make it happen, baby. Seven to four is the score here in the top of the ninth. Wow. That run really opened the floodgates for both teams, didn't it? All right. Nobody out, nobody on. Apparently, I'm leading things off here in the ninth. Uh, we'll try to swing only at pitches inside the zone and record a hit against Adam Adovino. He's got a 96 mile an hour sinker, 97 on the four seamer, 90 on the cutter, 90 on his circle change, and his slider is in the low 80s. Swing and a miss. The slider there at 81 miles an hour had me way out in front. Obviously his slowest pitch. So, 0 1 pitch from Adovino here. Oh, swung at the sinker off the inside corner. There goes the dynamic challenge. And we have an 0 2 hole in a hurry here. Third pitch of the at bat. Popped up the four seamer. Catcher's going to have that one just in front of the plate. Not even threatening to be dangerous at the plate in that at bat there. All right, we end up taking the win here in game number two, seven to four, the final score. Everything seems to have gotten done in the eighth inning. Nothing else happened anywhere in that game. So yeah, we're gonna move on to game number three, see if we can complete the sweep on the road against the Mets. All right, top of the first, one out, nobody on. Justin Verlander on the mound for the Mets. He's got a 97 mile an hour four seamer, 90 on the slider, nothing else quick. First pitch from Verlander here. Chopper out to right field. Is that going to get down? It is not. Right fielder comes in to make the play there. And that is a second out in a hurry in the top of the first. Top of the fourth. Boss challenge now against Verlander. I knew it was coming. The Mets have a 2-0 lead. There's a runner on first and nobody out for me. Uh, we're going to have to try to do the double or better. I don't think it's going to work. But here we are, first pitch, and this at bat is not going to happen yet as he checks on the runner at first. All right. First pitch, maybe this time around. You betcha, there it is. Taking the pitch inside, runner steals and does so successfully. So Edmund is now on second base. All right. 1 0 count now with a runner on second. Second pitch of the at-bat from Verlander. Popped up the four-seamer foul ground behind first base. First baseman's running for it. He ends up making the grab up against the netting there in foul ground. So look at me failing to get a ball in play in fair ground so far in this one. Top of the six. It's a two-to-one ball game. Mets are in the lead here. Verlander still on the mound. Theoretically only thrown 45 pitches to this point. Got an 0-2 line score here. Runner on second and one away. First pitch from Verlander. Chopper through the hole on the right side. Is that going to score the runner from second? Oh, they sent him around third. Here we go. Throw is offline. He scores with ease. We have a brand new ball game here in the top of the sixth. Tied at two. Runners on the corners for the Mets now in the bottom half of the inning. And they've come back with a vengeance. It's now a 6-2 ball game. Mets have the lead. One away, and with those runners on the corner. Sterling Marte hits a ground ball to the right side. We're going to try for the double play. Get the runner at second. 
And he beats it out at first, so the run does score. Oh, man, how about that? 7-2 the score now after that RBI fielder's choice. All right, top of the eighth, two outs, nobody on as I'm stepping up to the plate for the fourth time in this one. Verlander's still on the mound for the Mets. 7-2 to the score. First pitch. Four-seamer on the inside corner. I send it out to shallow right field. It gets down somehow. What? <laughs> okay, I'll take the base hit against Verlander. I'm not ashamed to take that. <laughs> little blooper there. Gets me on first with two away in the top of the eighth. Doesn't matter, though. Ugh, does not matter, though, as I'm almost choking on my own spit. The Mets take the nightcap here and avoid the sweep of the 7-2 final score after a dominant pitching performance by Justin Verlander. Anyway, that's the end of this series. Also going to be the end of the episode. If you're still here watching, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I know I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun social media things, and we will see you in the next one.